Guys, Mona turned Chris's old office into a perfume library. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Yes. <laughs> what is all this? Look at this. Oh my goodness. I don't even have this. Oh my God. What are you working on over here? Am I allowed to snap all this over here? Because I just did. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to put your contour on before the rest of your makeup or after the rest of your makeup, but it doesn't matter because men are stupid. I must warn you, the transition from beginning to end might be startling. Contouring is a very dangerous... One day, one day, one day to go before we reveal our skincare line and I am so excited. This has been such a big project, such a big journey, an emotional, very personal journey. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to see everything um, that is coming. Um, I'll tell you guys something really quickly because this is important. Um, when we shot for our um, our campaign, I almost said the word, um, it was a really emotional photo shoot because I had told my team that I wanted to do something with no makeup and no Photoshop and no face tuning, no filtering, nothing. Because I saw a lot of campaigns out there where people were selling skin, but you didn't really know how the skin looked. And I was really, I felt very good about this journey, about the way my skin looked through this journey. And I wanted to do that. And when we actually came to the day of the photo shoot, I got really nervous because it was a really stressful week. You know, life happens. And I didn't necessarily get to take care of my skin the way I would have planned to um, before such a big campaign and the reveal of our launch and our products. Um, and I remember getting in front of the camera and I can work a camera. I feel really confident in photos. I love it. Um, I become like another person. And I got in front of the camera and I knew that we were not going to be photoshopping and I wasn't going to be able to do anything to my hair other than brush my brows up and maybe curl my lashes. But I don't think I even did that that day. Um, and uh, I got really nervous. I felt very insecure and very vulnerable. I felt like I didn't have my armor on and whatever I did, I was like, these photos are going to be it. It's not like they can be fixed to be perfect or to look good. This is it. And I felt so insecure at that moment, which is so crazy because, you know, I just, I hadn't seen myself in that light. And I remember seeing the first photo and I looked at it and I was like, damn it, Huda, <laughs> that woman has worked so hard and she deserves to be loved and she deserves to feel really, really good. And you deserve to feel good about everything that you have done up until this point. So you got to work it and you got to love yourself. And that was a really, it was a very powerful very emotional photo shoot. Um, and it started first very vulnerable and very, very, I was very scared and very nervous. And then it ended up being one of the most powerful moments of my entire life. So I'm really excited to share with you guys everything that's about to come. I'm very nervous too, because we've worked so hard. It's been four years, four years um, in the making. And the journey of skincare has been, you know, almost two decades for me. So this is going to be something that I hope will answer so many prayers and make people feel so beautiful and so confident and, and proud of their own skin. You know, we love, I told I've said this before, but you know, part of the reason why I fell in love with full coverage foundation, why we made faux filter, um, is because I wanted to cover my skin and don't get me wrong. I still love a good cake face, but now I also feel really good about being bare faced as well. And that is really, really important. It's very empowering. And I can't wait for you guys to feel the same way so i love you guys oh my god 24 hours countdown mark your clocks mark your calendars it's coming soon oh i'm so excited so nervous and i can't wait for you guys to to try everything i have lots of butterflies in my belly right now and i can't wait for you guys to try everything i love you guys so much